Good morning, I'm back with another video and this time this is going to be based around supper clubs and how I run the event and what it takes to do the event. This is a private one tomorrow so I'm doing it for a brand. It's actually only canapes which I don't usually do so it's a little bit more straightforward than usual but I'm going to take you through the process. Today is Wednesday, it's the day before the event and yeah I'm just going to show you how I do it and what goes into it. So it's, I'm also a bit like coldy and I feel like I'm always saying this on my videos. I have started my period today. As you know, if you've watched my other videos, I'm doing a lot of rebalancing hormones and just like figuring out why I'm getting the symptoms I am at the moment. I've actually just had a consultation with my doctor to go through my blood tests and I am like severely anemic, which she basically thinks is the root cause of a lot of my issues. Yeah, I had no idea. That's really crazy but makes sense and I have yes yeah, so I'm gonna take you through everything this is my office it is my mum's yeah it, I haven't told you guys yet but me and Hugo are living in my parents home which they do not live in we're super lucky to be living here with my brother and family friend so there are four of us in total and we're living here while we figure out what our next movers and so that's why I had some really nice comments on the last video about like it feeling like a really homely cozy vibe that's because it literally is my parents lived in London for a long time and when they moved back to the countryside they kept this house because we were we had five siblings and we were all leaving uni coming to London so it was very lucky to have like a space to come back to and now I'm back here married and that's just the way life goes it's not like a upward um trajectory always it's not necessarily not upward but anyway i'm just at my laptop what i start to do so i have a delivery coming this morning the event is tomorrow but tonight i'm actually speaking on a panel with the girls from mother of the mountain which is so exciting so i'm getting a bit ahead of myself today i've got delivery coming this morning so i'm going to do a bit of prep this afternoon and what i do before the event is i write a prep list so that poppy and i who comes and helps me and is amazing and i love her she and i like know exactly what we're doing so i'm going to show you in a minute but the the list tomorrow is one two three four five dishes and it break those down into like how i prep every single element of the dish so that we know like it's just nice to tick off things from the list so like washing the veg peeling the veg all of that so i'm gonna i'm making little cheese scones and i think i'm gonna make them this afternoon because that's just like one job to have done today and then yeah we've got some nice things so i'll show you so this is all the info it's for a brand called cabbages and roses and this is i always like make this note make notes when i'm on the call about the event so 20 to 30 people that's actually now 30 to 40 and the canapes this is the little menu so this is like developed and changed over time they had a bit of feedback they wanted some meat in it so i added some cured ham and then here we've got the prep list so just now i've written the prep list and in a minute i will go back through it also don't kill me for my <laughs> don't come at me for my unanswered emails down here and I'll split this into Wednesday prep jobs and Thursday prep jobs so it's clearer and I'm making little rose chocolates which are super simple for all the guests to take home my food delivery has arrived so I'm gonna unpack it and I will show you everything that's in it and what I'm cooking I'll get you two <sighs> For the cheese, making this bread into breadcrumbs, so I'm actually gonna like, air this out so it gets a little bit stale. Vegetables for the crudite. This is radicchio, more radicchio, rainbow carrots. These will need to go in the fridge. I've got some milk. Oh, that's for scones. Butter for scones and lemons. I can't remember what I bought them for, but I always, always use lemons. Ignore me. And sage, we're doing like a crostini with sage and stracciatella. 
Chai is always good for a uh, garnish, they look good on the top. Then I've got some cheese to go with the charcuterie, there's so two camemberts. More chives, then these are the little gems for the Caesar. Eggs for the Caesar, lots of parsley to make a herb butter lid for the scones. More. And then I've got the other cheese, which is a comte, and stracciatella to go onto the crostinis. So these are the rose moulds that I've got. I just washed them. And then these are the rose petals I bought. Dried edible rose petals from Whole Food Earth. And I've literally just put the chocolate buttons in here with some rose so that like, as it melts, ooh, the chocolate like infuses with the rose petals. And then I'll literally just pour the melted chocolate into the moulds. Some rose petals like in the moulds probably a bit too many so that you'll actually be able to see them when you take them out quite cute one is the Okay, I've done my shopping. It actually took longer than I was hoping because I just couldn't find <laughs> baguette and I found some but they were just a little bit expensive and because I'm cooking for someone else I'm on budget for the food so I didn't want to go above that budget but I got some really nice ham from the Spanish deli and I did not record anything in there because it's lovely but I always feel a little intimidated in there for some reason. So yeah. It took me a little bit longer, but I have like an hour, an hour and a half to just quickly do some prepping and then I gotta get ready and go to my panel. So I got some piping bags because what I'll do is, <laughs> Oops. is I will put the chocolate into this. You can get cheaper and like not reusable ones online. But this one actually looks really good and it was a little more expensive. So yeah, basically you can like turn it in and then put the chocolate into it and it just makes it a bit easier to maneuver. Also this is good because the chocolate has had time to cool down while I was away. You take the piping bag the right way and then I will show you and then you just squeeze from the top could have done with a thicker one but that's okay the light in here is really bad but this is what I'm wearing it's a pink city prince dress and then I'm wearing it with these Prada boots that were my mum's. She had them in the 90s and now I've got them for now. But yeah, pink city prince dress with the boots. I literally just do my makeup in three seconds. I need to sort my hair out. <laughs> okay, I'm on my way. I've got a little scrunchie in my hair and I'm wearing my brown puffer. Oh, my water bottle's undone. That I always wear. I have doused myself in perfume because I feel like I stink of chocolate and cooking. <laughs> I just wanted to have a little brain dump. I have this thing and I really, really hate it about myself and I'm really, really trying to work on it, but I always push myself to the last minute to leave the house, if that makes sense. So like today, I need to leave for the panel at quarter to five and quarter to four, I'm still like making the scones that I need to make for my event and I'm like oh I could just wait make one more batch and I have to make it and I know in the back of my head I'm like don't need to make the last batch you can do it tomorrow you have time I have this thing that I need to do it and I don't leave myself enough time to get ready I'm panicked I'm flustered and I'm stressed and that is literally what happens every time I don't know if anyone else has it and I hate being late and I'm not late I've left the house on time but I just wish that I didn't push myself to have to like do one more thing every time. Anyway, I wonder if anyone else gets that or can relate, <laughs> but it drives me insane even when I can feel myself doing it. Um, but yeah, on the way to the panel, I'm excited. It's with Mother the Mountain and a few other amazing people and yeah, just fangirling the Uzma the Mountain girlies for the last like three years. So I'm so excited to meet them and to be on a panel with them.
That's the importance of using sustainable resources. What do you think that focusing on seasonal and local food can offer us beyond just the benefits of the environment? Um, I think it's, there's so much. Um, it's such a big topic. The girls video touched on a lot of this is like, I think it comes down to community. So the way we source our food is... is That's why I need the label to look a bit nicer. Um, the light is so bad, but Hugo is the king of broths, and we've had a quick whip up supper. Hello, good morning. It is so cold today. Um, I supper club day, well canopy club day. I'm just on my way back from a really inspiring event. Yeah, Sky McAlpine is opening a pop-up Christmas shop and I just went for pastries and Sky is, yeah, really inspiring. Lovely group of women and now I'm on my way back. Poppy is already at the house. Sorry, I just wanted to wait till I was on a quieter street. Poppy is already at the house and she is getting on with some prep for this evening while I was at the event. And yeah, I think we're pretty under control actually. I went in my cold plunge this morning, which I'm going to try and record at some point, but oh my god. I think actually it was a little too cold. I don't know if that's possible if you are doing a cold plunge, but I really, really struggled. I did two minutes, but I felt quite like faint, so I think I need to be a little bit careful. But I did some yoga, did some journaling, really trying to stick to the journaling thing every morning, and feeling good. So yeah, I'm gonna take you along for the day and I'll see you later. Also, this is my outfit. I'm wearing this Ganny skirt and my mum's vintage Prada boots. I've got a cardigan under here, but I was so cold this morning and this skirt is so thin that I'm wearing tights. I mean, leggings underneath it. It's quite a good hack if you don't like wearing tights. Why? Just cause it... Thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Will you doing it myself right now? <laughs> Don't think you need to obsession of what like well, no how I was scared to get in it. <laughs> so they were here kind of It's been too long. Yeah, I feel like I've been a bit better. Hang on, that's probably because the store it with you was like We are on our way to the event. It's actually been such an easy day, but Poppy and I have both been feeling a bit like lethargic and um, a bit like, I don't know, both on our periods. We're, we just bought some, Poppy's just gone to get some extra olive oil and pepper, and we are on the way to the event, so I'll see you there. So, just a check. Look, 